hydroponics is like a superhero for water conservation. It uses up to 90% less water than traditional gardening. With hydroponics, you are the boss of nutrients. You can customize the perfect meal for your plants, ensuring that they get all of the nutrients and minerals that they need to grow. If you want to add any nutrients while you're growing your plant, you can make exact measurements, mix it up, and add it directly to the water itself. We're going to set aside one of our pieces of string and we're going to feed the other four through the opening of the bottle into the water, making sure to leave a couple inches in the upper area of our hydroponics setup. We fed the string through the opening of the bottle and we've got a couple inches of the string in the upper area while the rest of it is down in the water itself. Place several cotton balls into the top portion of our planter. Then you can nestle a few seeds into the cotton balls. I'm going to nestle five pea seeds into my cotton balls and I cannot wait to see these start growing. I'm also making sure that they're not just in one little clump. I'm gonna spread the seeds out so they're kind of nestled in different areas of the cotton balls. Next, we're going to need our three skewers and a little bit of modeling clay. I'm using green modeling clay because it feels thematic with growing plants. Now you want to take a small clump of modeling clay and stick it onto the end of each skewer. Now take your three skewers with the modeling clay and place them in the planter and cross them at the top. This little tripod is going to help our peas grow by being a structure that they can climb up to get more sunlight. Now all we need to do is place our planter in a nice sunny area and watch it grow. Our planter works because of capillary action, which you might remember from our walking water rainbow experiment. The string in the bottom of our planter absorbs the water and through the powers of cohesion and adhesion, it starts walking the water upwards against gravity into the top of our planter where it's absorbed by the cotton balls and then it's right there for the seeds to use to grow. Now that the seed has water, air, and sunlight, it has everything it needs to grow and thrive until the roots from the seed reach the water on their own. It should only take a couple days before you see the roots growing down into the water in the bottom of the planter. After a few weeks when the seed has plenty of roots absorbing all the water, you should move it to a traditional planter or to your garden where you can keep it watered and grow your food. And there you have it, Explorers, your very own hydroponics masterpiece. Whether you're growing veggies or creating a green oasis, hydroponics is the key to a lusher, greener future.